see why not. Oh no, my cannons. My poor, poor cannons. And my nose is fucking stuffed. <laughs> stuffed. That's not the word I'm supposed to be using. Is it? It might be. Don't know. Also, it's August. Holy shit, my tooth from Multan just ran out. Oh no, in October. Oh, of course, there's been time. Which is right here. Ah. No, probably not uh, unseaged. Probably not gonna happen anytime soon. Hate getting rid of this one because he's just so good, but uh, he doesn't have any siege, so I'm getting rid of him anyway. <laughs> it's like Ottoman green. No, it's green in there. It's a little darker than Ottoman green. It's like Persia green. Sands almost over. Just ended. Truce with Bachmann is February and truce with John Poor November. And Persia still in a coalition against us. God damn it. Do I still have that modifier that increases my uh, maintenance? Yeah, I do. What? For another... G 
Jesus, for another five years? That's sad. Hi, Dexter. How are you doing? I mean, I suppose that we could conquer Japan. <laughs> All I'd have to do is colonize the curls. Oh, I've already done that. Yeah, I could declare on them right now. Start working on that. Actually, why not? Let's do it. Japan's in the way. They're kind of fucking up my trade, so... Let's probably go deal with that. Hundred and five. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't be able to tell you there. Um, Unseeds. A lot of nations have them. A lot of popular nations. A good thing I haven't declared war in Japan yet. Because once again we get to fight a defensive war against the Commonwealth. Should have the Ottomans on my side though, so that's nice. Close. We are so close right now. That's 53%. Yeah, I don't want to risk that. I do need to finish these off though, and they're going to be all annoying about everything, so. What we need to do is get our troops somewhere near the front lines, but I don't want them to arrive all uh, willy nilly. So I need them to arrive somewhat at the same time. What is the winning condition of this run? Creating a one million stack army. So I have uh, 1,000 regiments of 1,000 men in a single stack, and we'll be using that without losing manpower or money. That's the goal.
Right now we have a force limit of uh, 503. So we still have a bit to go, but then again I still have to annex Hakshi. There's tons of other stuff that I need to annex, so... Now the good thing about having the Ottomans as an ally is that the Ottoman and uh, the Commonwealth usually just, you know, derps around over there for an eternity. That's six maneuver general there. Hey, 110k extra manpower. <laughs> Won't they die due to attrition? Ah, we have tricks for that, Alex Unskilled. Uh, we get, uh, let's see here, we have a couple of modifiers going on. 20% negative land attrition from uh, horde ideas, and then we get negative 25, negative 10% from quantity. So it'll be on negative 30%. Get negative 25% from improved foraging, which uh, brings us up to negative 55%. And then we have a policy that reduces land attrition by 25%, putting us at negative uh, 80%. Did I say that right? Yeah. Negative 80% land attrition. And then after we finish defensive ideas, we can enact the Preparation Act, which is going to reduce it by another 25%, putting us at negative 105 land attrition. Now it is capped at 1%, so you always suffer at least 1% attrition. 1% uh, from, uh, from, from uh, 1 million is 10,000, so we'll lose 10,000 men a month. Currently we gain 6,700 a month, so if we gain more than 10,000 manpower a month we would be able to create a 1 million stack. <sighs> Will I do a Nagur campaign and upload it to YouTube? Maybe if I figure out something cool to do with Nagur. Except the achievement itself. Like, there needs to be something uh, special. Now once I've gotten all of my men there, somewhere around that vicinity will start fighting back the uh, Commonwealth Menace. I suppose I could just like not pay for my fleet, it's gonna save me quite a few dollars. Nakur World Conquest. Nah, I'm not going to be doing any World Conquests anytime soon. Those are really long and really boring after a bit, so... Don't, uh, don't particularly enjoy them all that much. Ended. Oh no, it's just a really soft song. Low volume song. <laughs> Play some mods. Yeah, I don't know. I like the vanilla game.
It's once again the conquest of Tamboth. This time, though, I'm gonna be sure to uh, kick them in the nuts a little bit harder than last time. See, I might even be able to tech up before the end of the war. Nah, probably not. So, what am I gonna ask off of these in this war? I'd certainly want to take out some of these lousy forts that he's just built. I mean, that, that's, that's just lame as shit, man. So how about them apples, Commonwealth, eh? Hey? How do you like that? <laughs> but the vanilla game barely has any dank events for uh, for minor nations. Well, no. The other game has tons of events. Of course, any mod that adds events is going to have more because they already import the vanilla event. Ah. Maybe the uh, extended timeline mod will be something fun to play around with. I, I really don't want Bahmanis to join a coalition, so I'm gonna declare on them before they can. Never mind, they just joined. Fucking shit. Should have had a free diplomat. See, this is why I don't like uh, fabricating claims on people. It's fucking useless, and it it just uh, like it saves you jack shit in terms of admin points. Now it used to be pretty significant, but now it's only 10%. And uh, also, your guys get stuck there a lot. Like, if they get discovered, then it takes you forever to fabricate a claim on someone. And then you'll sit there, and then you won't have your diplomats free from you, and you really need them. So. I believe last time I built the 1 million stack, I went 150 units over my force limit. It's pretty funny. We have all achievements already. No, no, not all of them. In fact, I've only got 62%. There's a lot of them I don't, uh, a lot of the easy ones I don't have. I'm like, yeah, I could do that, but that'd be incredibly boring to watch, so I'm not going to be doing that. Like, Sultanate of Rum, all that. And I suppose I'll be getting Sultan of Rum in my uh, Jewish One Faith campaign. And One Faith. I really ought to get some more cannons, though.
Well, was that Darfur? Oh, Darfur was doing really well. They were blobbing a little. Flory, do you have the royal marriage achievement? Yeah, I've gotten that one. <laughs> you can check my profile on Steam to see exactly which achievements I still need. France, really? Together with Portugal? Oh my god. That's gonna be a pain in the dick to deal with, having to fight two, uh, two armies at the same time. The Portuguese and French Navy suck, though, so... In terms of heavy ships, I kick both of them in the nuts. But mine are outdated. Don't know if I want to take two loads to upgrade them though, because I've got so many of them, so I doubt I really need that. This does mean that I'm gonna have to pay attention to uh, whenever they land units on me. I'm gonna come from over here, so I'll put my navy in Vanad and uh, just kind of like pay attention. Or maybe this would be better because it's closer to you know where the rest of the shit is. I'm gonna need to pay a lot of attention there. She's got. Ally, do you have two jumps again? You can't ally in the middle of a war. <sighs> I'm gonna lose that. There's no way I can win that. Oh, never mind. He's breaking into pieces. Well, oh, so lucky with the rolls there. Jesus. So lucky with the rolls. I need way more men up here, though. Way more men. Search Poland. Much scary.
Yeah, but then if he attacks this stack, I'm fucked, so I need to keep some more guys over here as well. So I'd like to know how close I am to having full cavalry bonus. That's 15 over here, but this is a level 4 fort. What's this? It's also a level 4 fort. Level 2. Level 2. 2. 4. Okay, so 15 cannons. A 15 over there, and apparently 19 over there, so... Adding another cannon there wouldn't be a very bad idea. And getting like the damaged regiments out of here and into my home turf would be a very good idea. Well, the very damaged ones anyway. this is gonna do for my income. <laughs> 15 ducats. And we're gonna gain another 15 ducats once that silly modifier runs out. I've got a modifier running right now that get, uh, increases my uh, maintenance by 10%. That lonely merc. Yeah, I hired him once to, I don't know, unseat something real quick. Is this club penguin? Yes. The answer is blue. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck, dude. A what? Hey, what the fuck are you doing? Why not attack my sieging stat? Because yeah, he wants all these juicy regiments, that's why. You need to make sure that you're not using a uh, forced march at the uh, end of the month. Because otherwise they don't recover morale or uh, units. Well, they might recover units, but they don't recover morale. Your reinforcements coming in here. Let's, again, let's leave the weak regiments out of it. Out of this. Ten days! Oh man, that's a long time. That might have been a close call. Oh, I can turn up. No, you can't. Uh, you can't turn on or off uh, force marks unless they're standing still. I might just be wrong on that. No, you can. Wow, that's stupid. You can't turn it on when they're moving, but you can turn it off when they're moving. That's silly. Well. Thank you for pointing it out to me there. I don't realize.
Yeah, Venice always builds a lot of forts, it's because they're so rich due to um, 